Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I go by V-Man. And today we're here to watch uh, Maruk's Daily Life. So I just finished season one of Made in Abyss. And I saw that this is like a, some shorts or like mini episodes about Maruk and Maruk's life at the Seeker camp. So a uh, shout out to War on Reactions for giving me the information about like what to watch and what order. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to fly through these. I, I think I'm just going to make this one long video. Or I might do like part one part two i don't know i'm i'm not sure i know that they're supposed to be pretty short so we'll just see how it goes but yeah so other than that let's go ahead and get into episode one. Oh wow the art style's different you could catch a cool and ozen had a good time last night just she's out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that face is terrifying. Like it's, I'm never ready. I'm never ready for it. Like ever. Is that what this whole like episode's gonna be? Trying to wake up Ozen. Try try pulling Ozen backwards. Like grab the back of the chair and just pull it. A pulley system to try and get Ozen up. But once you get Ozen up, how are you gonna get her to her bed? Oh, if you can't use a pull, if you don't have enough strength for a pulley system here, you need to hit the gym. <laughs> the opposite effect. Now you're stuck. Oh yeah, the back, the whole like background's different too. They changed all of it. Are you gonna? I thought Maruka was about to like jump out a window. How did you wrap that around her? Gonna bring down the whole seeker camp. No, that was pointless. Oh, wow. All right then. Very, very detailed. Oh, hi, Okazaimas. You're gonna leave Maruk up there, aren't you? <laughs> I can drink to it. I think you've done enough drinking, Ozen. Oh, wow. Oh, so these are literally just like little one off shorts. Okay. We're running errands, huh? Hmm. You're gonna string Maruk up? Actually, Maruk was just strung up last episode. It can't happen twice. Back to back. Oh, that's that, uh, that one animal. That we saw. Oh, it's Nat! Okay, cool. Crossover. But that was the little thing that uh, they had helped them carry Reg up to the orphanage. Are they gonna mention that they both know uh, Rico and Reg? Boku?男みたいな言い方すんだな。え?まあいいや。ふふふふ。だったらさ、こっちも会った方が近道だ。詳しいんですね、ナットさん。オースは俺の庭みたいなもんさ。いや。ナットさんに会えて。Nat's been around. He grew up in the bad part of town first. Hmm. Is is a Shigi gonna show up? Shigi and Kiwi? You don't even have to jump really, you just take a big step. Oh, of course. Good job, Nat. Alright, Nat. <laughs> you can get up now. Oh yeah, I was about to say the shop that uh their aunt that's not really their aunt works at. Oh, I never say anything. 
Don't be an idiot. <laughs> it's a little weird knowing that Maruk is a boy. It's okay, Nat. You'll be fine. <laughs> was, wait, what was the point of this? What was the point of that? Ozen just knew that he was going to run into Nat or something? You know what? Ozen probably wanted to see how long it would take um, Maruk to get there. Uh, they're back at the camp. Is this a daycare? What? We didn't see this room last time. いいのさ。勝手に入ってちゃっちゃと片付けりゃ。自分じゃやろうとしないんだから。I didn't think that existed in this world, but uh, actually, I should have known. It's an anime. It always exists everywhere. <laughs> Look at the posters on the wall. Is that the... Those are the relics that uh, Reg found, right? <laughs> Imagine coming home and your stash is just, like, piled up neatly. Like, who is in here? Who is looking through my stuff? Why do you have all these boxes in your room? I bet he sleeps on the boxes. Oh, or not. He sleeps up there. Well, probably couldn't be bothered to. What's that? You've been sneaking out? Use that to sneak out the window? That's disgusting. Was there like fungus on his clothes? Yeah, absolutely not. You can do your own laundry. Yeah. Definitely bathe after that. That's so gross. <laughs> For life. <laughs> it's something out of the nether world. Oh, is this, is this, um, like, picking up right after the last episode? Yeah, I want to see some backstory about Maruk. Did your, like, base get destroyed? So your airship crashed? Oh, your airship crashed in the netherworld? I don't even know what I just said, but I know it was wrong. <laughs> oh, what is that thing? Oh, you like dissolved the skin and bone, not the bones, but the, the skin and the muscle tissue and just left bone. Nope. The immovable is here. Hmm. あ、<笑><笑> You can barely walk. How long were you in there? Huh? 
You're about to pass out. Yep. <laughs> Irredeemable. Hmm. I wonder where they're at. Like what layer that they're on. Uh oh, you fell asleep on the job. <laughs> Quite the opposite, actually. Oh, never mind, maybe it was a bad dream. Yeah, <laughs> scary, heartwarming. That's cool. Alright, so that's it for Maruk's daily life. And, uh, yeah, I probably could have just, just skipped these. And, or probably just watched the fourth one. Because the only, well, if these are all canon, then we got to see Maruk meet Nat. And also we got to see Maruk's backstory about how Ozen found Maruk. I guess they were on some kind of airship when Maruk was with a group exploring. And obviously it crashed. I'm assuming Ozen warned them not to go there. Because Ozen said if they would have listened, they wouldn't have been here in the first place. So yeah, we just, just some little shorts. But um, it's cool. It's just another video I get to upload on YouTube. So, but uh, yeah, so thanks for watching Maruk's Daily Life with me. And uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.